Hello and good day to all of you. So welcome to my online electrical engineering and review tutorial channel and we will discuss today the uh, uh, the next topic for power systems 2 or power system analysis which is symmetrical components. So here we will more briefly discuss the essence of the uh, discovery of Charles Legit Fortescue in 1918 which leads him to the uh, analysis of unbalanced fault phase systems plus faults or short circuits which is the symmetrical components okay let us uh, have the uh, the definition first of what is symmetrical components all about symmetrical components shows that in any unbalanced system you so you already know what is unbalanced polyphase all about if uh, if one of the uh, magnitudes or even the directions is not 120 degrees apart the magnitudes not equal to each other so you already have an automatic unbalanced polyphase system but here in terms of voltage currents voltage and currents rather in terms of phase or line so it means that in any unbalanced system of a three phase currents and voltages in phase or in line okay may be resolved into separate sets of vectors which is namely the positive the negative and zero sequence components so we will discuss first on the next few slides is the sequence components that constitutes to the unbalanced voltage or current uh, line or phase relationships. Okay, now in this case, uh, we need to introduce what is positive, what is negative, and what is zero. So please take note, by the way, that you have uh, we have discussed this one when you say line voltages. Just recall. Is VAB, VBC, and VCA? Phase voltage, VAN, VBN, VCN respectively. So, V line, V phase. Okay. Also, when you say phase currents, okay, IAB, IBC, and ICA, okay, I could say uh, phase currents. And line currents, we have IA, IB, and IC, respectively, which is I line. So, if one of those vectors or those vectors are in a balanced state, they are represented by these three sequence components. Okay, let us discuss first the sequence components and their relationship to each other. So, a positive sequence component is a group of balanced set of vectors which uses the a B C clockwise relationship or simply in other words the oh, sorry for that okay okay the positive sequence or positive sequence on your balance polyphase so uh, as you can see here it is very evident that it uses the A B and C okay uh clockwise relationship also there are they are uh, with the same magnitude and they are balanced and there there must be 120 degree apart okay we also use a phase a reference so when we say phase a reference we can use any uh line reference but here it's practical to have the reference as in phase a okay one more thing by the way before anything else uh, positive sequence component it has a subscript okay it has a subscript okay subscript 1 okay subscript 1 so you can have the subscript 1 on those line currents by the way I presented it in line currents okay IA, IB and IC you can also represent it by VAB, VAN it's, it's just a uh, representation but they are the same principle so again when you say symmetrical components can be 
voltage or line current, uh, voltage and currents can be phased or line. Okay? It must be in an unbalanced state. So, in this case, I use currents. So, we have IA, B, and C in a clockwise direction. And we already described this one in the past lesson. You can recall phase sequences on lesson number 4 or power systems 1. Okay, now in this case, I have bar 0. Then I have 120 degree and passive 120 degree to have a balanced state. Now, it is also mentioned, okay, I could have this one IB1. I could have this one is IC1. Okay, it must have the same magnitude. The IP here is the magnitude of the phase current. That is the double bar there, okay, which is the magnitude. Now, IB1 and IC1 must have the same, okay, magnitude. And they differ 120 degrees apart. They are in balanced state. Before we get, go to the relationship, we must discuss first, okay, a very, very important phasor. I could say this is an operator A. Operator A. Operator A is a vector. Okay, I could say that it's a vector also. When you multiply to another vector, it it uh, it rotates. The angle one bar past the one twenty degrees apart in the reference in your respective reference. Or so it means that. You rotate the angle to positive 120 degree. So, it means that operator A or A is 1 bar, 120, when you multiply it to a certain vector. 1 bar, 120. So, if this is A squared, that is 1 bar, 240. And if that is A cubed, that is 1 bar 360 or simply equal to 1 because you have 1 revolution already. And if that is is to the 4th, that is 1 bar 480. So far and so forth. So it means uh, this is the definition of an operator A. When you multiply to a vector, then uh, it will rotate 120 plus 120 degrees apart. On some other references, it can be operator J. Okay, or an operator smaller a. Okay, but on my, uh, on our uh, online e electrical engineering review tutorial uh, review, we will make use of this capital letter A. Okay, uh, let us uh, move forward to IB1 and IC1 here. So you can, uh, you can uh, have your IA1 as simply your IP, simply because the bar zero here does not affect the magnitude because if you have that in complex notation, you have here your IP real part plus J I X or uh, IPX reactive part, but the reactive part here is zero, definitely. It means you have the magnitude part IP. So in this case, we could say that this is IA1 because this is our reference. Now, what is the relationship of IB1 with respect to IA1 in terms of operator A? Now, it is very clear here. Okay, this is positive 100, uh, rather positive 240. Okay, this is positive 240. Okay. Or 1 bar 240 to be exact. Okay with respect to this reference. So it means the relationship of IB1 to IA1 is, IA1 is simply also equal to the magnitude, that, because that is bar zero, and then you multiply it by A squared, where in A squared is you rotate the angle in a positive uh, 120 degrees apart, or A squared is positive 240 degrees apart. Okay, with respect to a certain reference. Now, I see one here, okay, is, he, is this one. Yes, it is represented by positive 120. Positive 120 is your A. So, it means you have your A, IA1. 
So please take note that we have, okay, I, I, I will erase this one. We will make, okay, this relationship, we will make use of this relationship on the next few slides here. And this is the relationships for the positive sequence components. So hopefully you can understand those phasors and those phasors has already uh, discussed on your phase sequences. Now in a negative sequence component, you have an ACB clockwise direction and it is uh, in terms of subscript 2. Subscript 2. As you can see, all of this in terms of 2. Okay, in a clockwise direction. So if we do the same pattern again, you have your IA2 now, will be your IP bar 0 in this case. Please take note, this is a vec these are vectors, okay, with the subscript 2. Now, what will be the relationship of IC and IB with respect to IA2? And we will make use of this operator A. Okay, now in that case, the A's on the positive sequence component will be inverse in this situation. If you have your IB2, with respect to IA, as you can see, this is positive 120 because IB is located now here at the uh, first, second, second quadrant. So in that case, we have IA2, okay, because your magnitude now is also equal to IA2, and then you have your A, definitely. We need to box this one because this is an important formula that we will make use on the next few slides. And then you have your IC2. It's pretty clear. This is positive 240. And what is 1 bar 240? That is A squared. So that is A squared. I, A, not squared here. Must be a subscript. Yes. So in terms of vector, okay, we establish another important relationship in terms of negative sequence. Remember, negative sequence is the opposite of positive sequence. They have the same uh, principle that they are in balance, 120 degrees apart in terms of phase displacement. Okay, we will discuss the next slide. It is On the next slide is the zero sequence components and the formulas that we will make use on the symmetrical component topic. So please stay, uh, please stay tuned.